Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 20 to the power of 10. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 20 to the power of 10. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 2 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. And log 20 to the power of 10, I can move 10 to the front. So now I have x times log 2 is equal to 10 times log 20. Now, if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x is equal to 10 times log 20 over log 2. Now log 20, I'm going to rewrite that as log 10 times 2 over 2. And now if I have something in the form log a times b, simply equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log 10 times 2 that's going to equal log 10 plus log 2. Now I have this over 2. Now, if I distribute the 10, I get 10 times log 10 plus 10 times log 2 over... Sorry, this is actually log 2, not 2. And now, this is the same thing as 10 times log 10 over log 2 plus 10 times log 2 over log 2. Now, log 10, that's actually equal to 1. So now I have x is equal to 10 over log 2 plus 10 times log 2 over log 2. And these two log 2s are actually going to cancel out. So now I'll be left with x is equal to 10 over log 2 plus 10. Now log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now I have x is equal to 10 over 0 0.301 plus 10. And 10 over 0 0.301, this is equal to 33.2226. Now I have this plus 10. So now this is the same thing as 43.2226. So this is my answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. Now make sure to stick to the end of the problem where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. All right, so I have two to the power of 24 minus one. Now two to the power of 24, this is the same thing as two to the power of 12 times two, minus 1. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 12 times 2, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 1. Now, we know that 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1024. So 2 to the 11, this is equal to double of 1024, which is 2048. And finally, 2 to the power of 12, this is going to equal double of 2048, which is 4096. So now I have 4096 squared minus 1. Now, 4096, this is the same thing as 4100 minus 4. So I have this squared minus 1. And if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So 4,100 minus 4 squared minus 1, and 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So now this is the same thing. Sorry, it's not a plus b times a minus b. It's actually a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So we have 4,100 minus 4 squared. So this is going to equal 
4,100 squared minus 2 times 4,100 times 1, or sorry, times 4, plus 4 squared. Now, 4,100 squared, that's going to be 1,681,000. Sorry, 16,810,000. Now I have this minus 32,800 plus 16. And then we can't forget our negative one at the end. So now all of this is going to equal 16, or sorry, 16,777,200 plus 15, which is equal to 16,777,215. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x is equal to three to the power of x. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the log base two on both sides. So I have log base two of two to the power of x is equal to log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So now I can move x here to the front, and I can also move x over here to the front. So now I'm going to have x times log base 2 of 2 is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now log base two of 2 and 2, these two are simply going to cancel out because if you take, if the base and this are the same thing, then they simply equal to 1. So now from my left hand side, I'm simply left with x is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now I'm going to subtract x times log base 2 of 3 on both sides. So these two cancel out. And now I'm left with x minus x log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. So now I'm going to factor out x from the left hand side. So now I have x times 1 minus log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. Now, if I divide both sides by 1 minus log base 2 of 3, these two cancel out, and now I am left with x is equal to, well, 0 divided by 1 minus log base 2 of 3 is simply 0. So I'm left with x is equal to 0. So now, to check, I have my equation 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. And we know that x is 0. So now I have 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 3 to the power of 0. Now remember, anything to the power of 0 is simply equal to 1. So 2 to the power of 0, that's equal to 1. And 3 to the power of 0, that's also equal to 1. So I have 1 is equal to 1, meaning my solution is right. So make sure to hit that thumbs up and like button and make sure to subscribe.